President Trump is tweeting about Minnesota's Governor Tim Wall's handling of the coronavirus crisis. Here's what he said. Received a very nice call from Governor Tim Walls. We're working closely on getting him all he needs and fast. Good things happening. The tweet comes after protesters rallied against coronavirus stay-at-home orders outside the governor's mansion in Minnesota over the weekend as calls to reopen the country continue to grow. Joining us now is Mike Lindell, the CEO of MyPillow, a pillow manufacturing company based in Minnesota. Mike, it's good to see you. What's your reaction to what's happening in your home state? Do you think Governor Wall should reopen Minnesota? Yeah, I, I do. Um, I know there's a way to do it. I think there's a couple things going on here. One is, like my pillow, I think other companies that are open, and they're not all doing this, they need to be following safe practices, the one that are open. And I think our governor, and I think all governors, and, and should, should have a safe practice thing for the businesses that are open. Here's the list of what you should do. So when I go in there as a customer, whether it's a gas station or whatever, I know that everyone's got a mask on. Uh, maybe there's sanitizers at the door. There's six feet. You go up to check out where you do your credit card. Maybe there's a pen there that say you use that instead of your finger, and then they have an employee to sanitize it. These businesses need to step it up. I want to say something, too, about the protesters, and I might get a little bit trouble here on the right, but they went down there, and they should have went down and all had masks and say, we, we want to be open, Mr. Governor, but we're going to do it safely. And I think it was a wrong message, um, and I've told people that. I know people that were down there, and I don't think they represent all, all of us, that, that there's people we do want to get open, but we want to do it safely, and it has to start from the top. Our governor needs to come up with, okay, here's you, we have businesses open now. I mean, you can go into a Whole Foods or a Walmart, and, you know, they've gotten better, but before they weren't, they weren't practicing safe. I didn't even feel safe going in, so I wouldn't go in. I want to be able to go in there, and if everyone's got a mask on, everyone stays six feet apart, you're protected. I mean, I, you know, the end. So I just think that there's there's things going on in my home state I have very big concerns about. I feel like we're going to be, like, one of the last ones open because of because of all this. I'm, I'm not, not starting from the top with knowledge to— to be a lead, to lead and do, and lead it right and say, okay, like we're, I think he opened, we're going to open golf courses. Well, what about our fishing? What about our other things? You've got to have a plan. And I think the plan starts with the businesses that are open, stepping it up and showing safety and then unifying it, maybe having a governor's seal that these are, if you see a governor's seal and you walk into that business, you know what to expect. And if you get it, if it's wrong, then you don't, you know, it gets everybody, social media will take care of that if some, if a business isn't stepping it up. Yeah, yeah, good point. And there, everyone's trying to learn this whole thing together, what they should do. It seems to be extremes from both sides. We just got to find right. that middle ground. I think that's a tough thing here. Mike, you announced the company, your, their, your company shifted 75% of its operations to making masks for healthcare workers battling coronavirus. I want to ask you, how's that going? How many masks have you made? Um, who, who's receiving these? Well, we're up to about 75,000 a day, uh, or about 50,000 a day, I guess. Um, we're, we had other companies that have called, called since I was at the uh, Rose Garden, with all kinds of companies, hundreds of them call, wanted to help out. So we've, we've gave some of them fabric and, you know, and got them making them. So what we're doing now, we've got so many coming in. It's about 50,000 a day. I want to just keep keep making them as long as there's the companies out there that need them. You know, your VA hospitals, I know we've done a lot of them. Uh, we've even helped out the Salvation Army. We donated a bunch there. There's things you wouldn't think of. My home state here in Minnesota, one of the counties was the highest per capita virus in the in the um, Midwest. And we, we drove down there and, and filled the hospitals, their nursing homes and everything. It was a big outbreak where I grew up or one of the, one of the counties where I grew up. And they, uh, so we've, we're sending them everywhere where the needs are. One of the things that we've been able to do at MyPillow is get other pe people that had masks, whether it's the KN95s or the N95s or the disposable, and companies over here that couldn't get them, whether it's hospitals or our you know, first responders and able to make the connections. We've kind of become like an information center. So that's good where I've, be, I've been able to maybe pay for these here and just transfer them over here. And so it's, it's kind of marrying the two. So we're, we're able to help out. We have a MyPillow task force set up. Um, I have Jack Brewer, he's, he's running it. And we're, we're able to do stuff with sanitizers and stuff too. I'm really getting involved because I want to, you know, 
help out and get our country and, and get you know a lot of these businesses want to help but they just don't know how yeah so we're taking in the information well we love to see it and we really do appreciate all that you're doing out there in minnesota to help uh everyone who's trying to battle coronavirus right now that's mike lindell the ceo of my pillow mike thanks so much stay safe thank you god bless thanks